Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna play Faust Altraum. Is that how you say that? Alright, let's start. Again, you show yourself, you ever in forms, revealed as you once were to color vision. Shall I attempt to hold you fast once more, hearts willing still to suffer that illusion? Of lovely hours, those slipped from me and lost, they can no longer hear this latest song. I bring my verses to the unknown throng, what is throng? My hearts made anxious even by their clapping. A shudder takes me, tear on tear, entire. The firm heart feels weakened and remote. What I possess seems far away from me. And that is gone becomes reality. Post. Oh, that's like the real poem. What now? Today is Heinrich Faust's funeral. Despite how the sign read, even she wasn't sure if that was his real name. Let's put it this way. Today's daddy's funeral. There are more people than I thought. All revealed traces of annoyance be beneath her veil. So sleepy, the girl thought. Why must we get up to face such a dreary day? Chatter permitted the sea of black suits, of which she recognized only a view. A few in the crowd wept in sorrow. How nice it was that there were still those who, who would lament his passing. That's us? It's about time to go, Aunt asked with a smile. Why does Aunt smile when she clearly never means it? The girl yawned and looked at the tomb, almost wishing she could swap places with the person resting inside. The coffin closed with a firm click, as if a patch of clouds in the gloomy sky had run headlong into the wall. Is it the one? No. No matter how tearily the lush of blue tiles were stacked, one could still detect the passage of time. What's wrong? Aunt turned around, mystified. The girl didn't want to go in. Aunt smiled wryly as if she had read the girl's mind. You only have to go in and see what in what's in there. Don't worry, it belongs to you now. No, why do you think that would bother me? This isn't what you guys say at home. However, the girl kept all those thoughts to herself. Never mind, just wait outside then. On with her. <laughs> I clicked too fast again. The doorknob turned smoothly. Oh yeah, so it's a free game. So slow. You can download it now on Steam for free! Going in wasn't better than staying out here, but she just wanted to go home as soon as possible. Any home would do. On Marthol, Marth? The very air seemed so to freeze. A horizontal layout could just barely be made out through the haze clouding the, the unlit lights in the on the chamber? What is that? In the silence, it was as if dust would be stirred up by the slightest step. But the odd things were, was there was no dust at all. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. Both doors were locked. Why? The electricity must be on. Where's the light? A light. Eek! Ah, uh, just a cat. That was frightening. Fel Feline eyes lends a sharp look out of 
out of the gloom where cold black fur melted into the shadows. It flicked away in the next second. Huh. I disappeared. Where had it come from? The cat had vanished from the corners of her eyes. Wait, huh? Oh? What is that? The empty path extended further into the darkness. No, Aunt could not have passed by here, but... Oh, oh, we're moving, we're moving! Can we run? Oh. Oh! How do we exit? Oh, it's weird. We can't run. It's so slow. Oh, uh, what? There was nothing. Empty space all of all around her, but nothing revealed itself. The dead air thrummed violently in her ears. There's no way Aunt could be here. A screeching noise came from the door behind her. What in the world? What? Darkness oozed in. I like the art style. What? What? This was the beginning of the nightmare. Oh, it's a nightmare. A patch of purple was e eerily bright in the absence of light, as, it is, as if it had been sugar-coated sugar with icing. Hello? It's a demon! An ear-piercingly sweet voice sounded as a patch of purple probed out from the inkly de death, whatever. Smooth locks, bleeds of color, as if waiting for a painter's palette that will drip down any second now, peered out. The ashen-faced owner turned to greet her. Hi? Yes. Oh, excellent. You understand me. A purplish-white figure pulled itself up as if ascending a long flight of tears wow what time is it is it spring long long sleeves flapped across her vision but the way the figure moved didn't seem entirely human who are you i remember the door being locked if there's nothing else can you shut the door on your way out it started moving away with the flurries of of its sleeves accompanied by the clopping sound of a horse's hoofs. It seemed bored, but this made her feel a bit uneasy. She yelled defiantly, I, I don't want to leave. This is father's old house, so she should be the one to inherit it. Inherit it. The adults had said that before. No matter how unwilling their expression had been, they had indeed said that before. Therefore, she wasn't going to let herself be swept out of the door, no matter what. The figure still then turned back, despite being far away. Oh? She regretted her words almost immediately, particularly as the figure swiftly closed the distance between them. She realized its, its expression hadn't changed as she tilted her head a long, long way up to meet its gaze. Really? Violently purple eyes flashed glee gleefully as if they had suddenly remembered something. A garish grin abruptly split open the pale face. Elizabeth. Elizabeth with S? A cloyingly sweet voice spelled out the girl's name. You've returned. The light disappeared suddenly as if window shutters 
had snapped shut. And then the door opened. The body, her body moved of its own accord, disconnected from a mind rolling with confusion. Elizabeth sprinted up the steps and passed the gym door frame, trapped with spider webs, retracing her origin original path. She couldn't remember why she set foot in this place, and a growing sense of no seated distaste urged her to leave. Her heart settled when she finally set foot on the lush carpet. As long as the front door is still open, then. Huh? Uh oh, the front door missing. What? There was nothing on the wall. Where's the door? She was trapped by the nothingness that revealed itself in front of her, just like how the cat previously cowered in the corner. This couldn't possibly be happening. <gasps> what? 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 That's not happening in just one second. What's wrong? That now sitting voice was starting to become irritatingly familiar. Let me out, she cried. Huh? What's, what you, what's that you say? There's no such a thing as front door. She retorted, yes, I just came, came in from the front door. I didn't see that. You told me to shut the door on my way out. I don't remember saying that. What? What happened? The unease that had disappeared resurfaced, resurfaced with a will almost tangible in its strength. Terror, exhaustion. She didn't want to face this latest turn of events. A strong sense of fatigue stole its way into her mind, and her eyes started to close. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Elizabeth? How? Ah, uh, how? How did the being know her name? Her eyes shut from me before she could ask the question. Indeed, I shall enchant your eyes and your ears, instead of shutting yourself away, sad as the worm that gnaws your books. Come, follow me to a new place. Let us go then to learn about life and leave the rubbish of philosophy. Berrios, Holiday Mansion, the Faust. Elizabeth opened her eyes. Where is this place? The pendulum ticked and mercilessly in the empty air, as if it was the only living thing left in the world. Oh, we can move. How can we save? So dark. The reflection of my face in this turn of expression. The interpretation of dreams. Memories from reality are sometimes unable to be recalled in dreams. As long as nothing happens that prompts one to recall their true self, then no reflection will occur. For instance, the dreamer might truly believe he is a sailor if he fails to recall his true profession when Dreaming of navigating the seas. Huh. So dark. It was a piece of chocolate candy. <gasps> Can we take it? Yay! We get chocolate. Eating it will impact more energy and your walking speed will increase. It can be used repeatedly until the maximum limit is reached. You will be able to progress if you cannot walk. Oh, you will be unable to progress if you cannot walk. Should we save it? Oh. It's con we consume it automatically. Huh. 
How can we save? There were matches and candle holder. Use it. Matches one. Using matches will increase your vision range. They can be used repeatedly until the maximum limit is reached. You will be unable to progress if you cannot see. Can we light the, the firewood? Okay. Can we go out? Check to see what's in the room first. There's... Oh, there's a paper and ink. Do we have to make a record? Yes. Diary 1. So we save in books. Alright. What else? It was locked. It was dark outside the French door. No matter how it, one looked, like it was all fake. What? A key, the half of the label remain ha had the words 1F, right corridor. Key to the right corridor. Alright. I think that's it. Wow. Alright, let's save again. I don't know why, but the confirm button is why. Why? <laughs> oh, we're here. No. There really isn't anything. She woke herself, herself up with a brisk shake of her head. Although she had yet to figure out what had happened, Elizabeth didn't feel right just standing there. Cold shivers ran down her back just as she finished that thought. Oh, would it make a difference if she had made a decent effort to communicating with the being? Didn't you want to leave? Why did you suddenly start looking for the door? Those were an actual questions, just sarcasm that weaved in seriously around her. She slumped on the staircase. Who are you? Elizabeth asked. The gaze directed towards Elizabeth creased into a smile as it had been waiting for this question. The figure bow bowed with an almost comical number of flourishes. I am Mephistopheles. Me what? Mephisto. What exactly are you? Elizabeth further asked. The demon smiled and slowly paced in a wide circle around the girl. It spread its hands in a way that has annoying for some reason. I am the genie that denies everything. Those two long sleeves waved around in a sinister manner. And so she asked, Can you tell me wh where this front door is? Didn't I say there's no such thing? That's what you said. I didn't see a thing. Didn't you walk in in your own world? Felician, how will you know where the door is? <laughs> what do you know? They won't tell you anything. They actually don't even welcome you. If only you hadn't been born. It had stolen the right to speak, and every word it spoke dripped blood, blood curdingly <laughs> onto Elizabeth's head. She had to resist the urge to cover her ears in the face of such cloyingly sweet voice, one that had snuck up to her unwares. Think about it, this place is actually not so bad. It's quiet here, you won't hear those things. You won't even want to leave after a while. Elizabeth turned back to, the, to reboot his weird theory. No way, she said. I don't want to stay or spend even a second here. Not even a so for a second? Not even for a second. Really? Mm. Alright, want to make a bet? If you really want to leave, I'll show you the way out. Really? Yes, the demon nodded. But if at any moment you wax nostalgic about your time here, or wish to preserve any instant of eternity, then you lose. 
any instant, any instant. Well, that didn't seem so hard. She didn't have the slightest inclination to stay here anyway. Elizabeth nodded her head without thinking over it for too long. Oh, good. Then it's settled. The demon capered in, sat in satisfac satisfaction before she had said anything. This was also when the bells in the house started to tolling. Elizabeth covered her mouth with both hands before she blurted out, Wait a minute! She bet the bet had already begun. Despite having a lot to say a second ago, the demon's irregular form vanished up the stair, and she didn't want to keep it at all. So, right corridor is... Mouse? Why there's mouse? Oh, there's nothing here. I have to go up. It was locked. Perhaps he can be used to open it. What? No item. A rag doll. <laughs> Open it with the key S. Yes. The sound of someone playing a piano came from the other end of the hallway. Chapter one. In Puss Boot Boots. What? Matches one. Nice. A half empty teacup. Is the mouse safe? A pile of red wine bottles. What is that? A red wine had collected at the bottom of the cup. What is this? We cannot we cannot see it. The bowl, the bowl was filled with dust. Can we go up there, or we cannot? I think we need key for that. Oh, we can. What? A sculpture made from plaster. This is creepy. <laughs> this is creepier than I thought. Is there any food here? Can we use the matches? Light it? No, 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 no. Should we save or should we use it? Oh no. What? The mouse reduces the light. There not uh, nothing here. Thirty places. Oh, we get matches. Nice. Oh, and we can save here. And a dead fish. They cut its eyes. Why? Fish eye. What for? Chocolate! There's nothing, okay. Okay, okay, we got more from there. Ah, no! No, bad mouse, bad mouse. Let's use the matches. we go here it was locked a pawn could be seen from the window she can see another window on a wall over there through the glass no mouse don't stay away from me no mouse yes safe 
Oh, this is creepy. Ah, mouse over there. Oh, mouse again. Chocolate! Yay. Should we eat chocolate? I think we should. Yes. Yeah, we can. Wow, we're so fast! What's over here? It was locked. Something seemed to be stuck on the other side of the keyhole. Anything here? Matches! Let's use it. Yes. Ah. What's here? It was locked. What? The door? What? This playroom. Uh oh! What the freak? Someone seemed to be mad! Don't be mad! What's locked? Where should I go then? What's locked? Piano room. Where should I go then? Uh, creepy, creepy. Not there before. Metal wire. Why should I use that? <gasps> no. No. Is it gonna chase me? No. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> uh, why did I play this <laughs> safe? Okay, let's end the episode here. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's scary. <laughs> I don't like horror game. Why did I play it? <sighs> Alright, that was scary. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave a like. If you're new, please subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.